really proud that I was able to make this. This felt really good. It was such a great learning experience and it was a lot easier than I ever thought it would be. I'm so glad we got this done. All right, here's my solar air heater building experience. It was a lot of fun. It began with putting together the polyisocyanurate foam board pieces, which had been pre-cut and ordered and delivered from our local hardware store. I put glue uh, underneath them and held them together while they glued with uh, sheetrock screws. The glue is expanding glue, so it will fill in the gaps and create a sealing effect between the pieces of foam board. This foam board box forms the inner oven, essentially, of the solar heater. And without this insulation value, whatever heat you collect from the sun isn't collected and it gets lost immediately. So this is essential, as well as this type of foam board is designed and for... This type of foam board is great for high heat purposes. It does not melt. Do not attempt to use polystyrene, which is styrofoam board. That stuff will melt and that's not safe. So after it was all glued in place, I put on foil tape to hold it and secure it on the outside. And then cut notches, measured carefully, where the parts of the framework for the screen will be. As you can see, these are poplar wood pieces that I'm showing fit into the notches that I've cut. We chose popular wood for the inner pieces of the screen framework because it is the least uh, likely to off-gas when it gets heated up compared to any other type of wood. And then we painted it with high heat black paint. Here I am trying to put together the screen frame. Not too hard, but I was concerned about wrinkles and I wanted to make it really neat and tidy. So I took a bit of moving things around and, and putting them back in place. And once it was uh, secured at the top, I worked my way down, uh, one frame piece at a time. I used a nail gun to put the baffle piece uh, connected to the main brace piece. And was careful not to nail my hands. I was safe and no injuries. And for the rest of the screen that is not sandwiched between the two pieces of poplar, I drilled holes and then used screws with wide heads to secure the frame to these pieces of poplar. Also to make sure that it was nice and stretched taut as well as in the right place. place. Also to make sure that it was stretched taut and placed in, in the proper position, I put the screen framework into the foam board notches as I was putting the screen onto the popular bracing. Uh, I then covered the notches with foil tape to make sure that there was no exposed foam board innards um, and no crumbling could happen and then painted that of course as well. outer framework, which is made of pressure treated wood, I put on the rubber ceiling and this goes under where the glass is secured to the outer framework. I pre-drilled the twin wall polycarbonate glass uh, and that allowed me to more easily attach the glass in the end once the solar heater frame was on the wall. I placed the inner foam board box inside the outer framework and turned it upside down so that on the back I could put weatherproofing tape to seal the connection point between the inner foam board box and the outer wood framework. This prevents any moisture from getting in there and secures it all in place. I then carefully measured and cut out the inlet and outlet vent holes in the back of the foam board box and sealed up the exposed foam board with uh, foil tape. Once all this was done, I carefully placed it on the wall where we had already put in the holes for the vents and made sure it fit. 
then measured the placement for the braces, took the whole unit off the wall again, and then screwed in the, the square braces so that then I could put the whole unit back on the wall and then secure it to the wall with the braces that I had already screwed in place with long five inch screws. All this was a fun process of double checking your measurements and then double checking again. <laughs> And now the solar heater is secure against the wall and it's not going to blow off in the storm. In fact, I added a fifth bracing on each side just to make sure. In the space around the vent holes, I used quad caulking. Then I stuffed in polyisocyanurate foam bits and then sealed over top of that with foil tape. Uh, I cut the vent pipe down to just one inch proud length and then stick little bits in it so that I could spread it out flat against the back of the, the solar heater. I kind of like this part, but wearing gloves was really important. I didn't get any cuts, thankfully. And after they had been spread out and smoothed out both at the inlet and the outlet vent, we again painted them black with high heat paint. This is more for aesthetics than anything. And finally, it's time to put in the screen framework where I already have the notches cut and it's made to fit very snugly. Uh, I've also already pre-drilled the holes on the side of the poplar braces up through to the side of the whole outer framework so that all I have to do at this stage is put the screen framework in place and then put in the screws. I was pleased to see that it looked neat and tidy and there weren't any big wrinkles or bends and dents in the screen. And here I am putting in a galvanized screw to hold the screen framework in place to the outer framework of the solar heater itself. This is nearly the last stage of the project, is putting on the twin wall polycarbonate glass. Uh, as you know, I've already pre-drilled the holes to attach it to the framework, but I've also added weatherproofing sealing tape to the tops and bottoms so no moisture can get in between the corrugation. Now all I have to do is simply apply the sheeting screws and get them securely and tightly in place. It was kind of fun going up and down the ladder. I don't have a fear of heights. In fact, I probably should have a bit more of a fear of heights. And the last stage is putting on the sealing tape. Again, more of this weatherproofing, strong gorilla tape that we love so much. And this further provides sealing of the glass to the outer pressure treated wood frame. And we have our final project finished, completed, done, and I'm feeling very happy and proud.